Hey. Hey you. Hey you. Wake up. It's time to go hunting. Get out of bed. What are you doing? Making moves. Making a bed? Mm -hmm. I thought that was women work. Do you see any women here? I'm zooming in on one. Yeah. All right, Mr. Bone Collector, tell us what's happening. We're going to the highest part of the lease, going after this eight point. Hopefully, we see it. Going after an eight point? Mm -hmm. Which one? The one who has that white thing on his horn. I'll go to white tip on the G2. Yeah, this would be Luke's first time to actually pick a deer and try to just hunt just this deer instead of just shooting anything good that comes in. So I think it would be a pretty good learning lesson this season. Uh, this would be the best buck he's ever taken. It's a very, very, very nice buck. Uh, we picked him on Luke's first hunt and let him walk just to kind of see what else was out here. And he just has his heart set on that deer. And I agree with him. I think it would be a real good one for him this year. Um, so we need to finish getting set up. Uh, I got to hunt two days ago and I harvested my coal tag. I took a nice seven point. So we'll plug in that video right now. Let y'all watch that. And uh, we're gonna sit here and get ready and wait for the sun to come up. We'll see you back here in a minute. Well, morning folks. It is a beautiful November morning. Today is November 21st. Me and Jeremy's down here for our rut hunt. Uh, gonna spend a couple days hunting by herself and then the family will come join us this weekend have a little pre thanksgiving dinner and as you can see my quiver is missing two arrows so to top it off this year i got me a, a nice seven point coal buck down he's up there at the feeder uh this year filming has just not worked out for me at all uh, earlier in the season, um, I took a really nice 11 point and uh, didn't get it on film. I uh, had camera problems, uh, ended up getting a glimpse of the deer, but uh, didn't get the kill shot on film. And uh, this morning, I got up in the stand and I was missing a piece of camera equipment, so I could not mount my camera. So anyway, watched this deer this morning. He came in with several young bucks, a few doe. Just watched and watched and watched, and he just kept presenting good shots. And uh, we're trying to call out at this point. So decided to go ahead and take one. see that first shot was center mass high I don't get it I'm not sure what's happening anyway he's no trophy but he's a nice little seven point just a little weird deer pretty neat bases anyway I'm gonna call him out that's gonna end my season here now it's time for my boys to get down here and get something. 
all right welcome back folks hope y'all enjoyed that little clip uh sorry about the video footage i just been having issues this year anyway uh sun's starting to come up for luke over here feeder's gonna go off in about six minutes so let's get this thing turned around and uh cross our fingers hope luke gets what he wants catch y'all up on what you've what you've missed out on. Uh, Luke and Keisha got to hunt together yesterday and uh, Luke got to watch a really really nice eight point come in yesterday. Pretty proud of him. Luke was a able to tell how old the deer was and he knew that he didn't need to shoot that deer uh, and it was a little bit bigger than uh, the deer we have picked out for him. Uh, as far as this morning uh, we got in the blind very cold this morning. Uh, just kind of sit there and chill down. Had some black buck come in this morning, a few doe. Had a little six point come in. And then Luke just got to see the biggest deer of his life. Uh, there's a big, I'm guessing about 140 inch eight point in here that we call stickers. Um, anyway, I got to watch him come in. Uh, he's a beautiful, beautiful three and a half year old deer. Uh, that's that deer I passed on opening weekend. sitting in here. Uh, had a little mishap this morning. The feeder jammed up. Uh, it's kind of low on corn so it didn't have the weight to throw. So it's Luke's hunt. I'm tagged out. He said, Dad, go fix the feeder. <laughs> so I ran up there real quick. Got to where I throw some corn out. It's still a little early in the day. So I'm going to sit back and uh, see if Luke gets a chance at this management eight point. So we're going to tuck back in here and get her gloves on, get her hands back in her pocket, warm up, and uh, hope for this deer to show up. Man. 
You got him? Did you get him? Dude, you jerked on that trigger hard. What happened? There's a eight point that was over there and we just slid open the window. I can't talk. There was a eight point what came over here. Uh, we got him a stop as that PU went back moving then he came over here. I got up and got a good shot on him. There's another one. So put the There's another buck back there. To the right behind the feeder. I'm not shooting. I can't. I know. I can't even. Well, this deer that we just shot snuck around by, <laughs> beside us, popped out, didn't have much time with him. Luke had to swing his gun out the side window. Um, I'm not even sure if I even got it on camera. Uh, I know I didn't get the shot. The deer had already got out of my frame. Anyway, uh, Luke says he hit him and it took off running, so we have to give it a few minutes and go out there and go see what happened, because I didn't get the shot, but he's been holding out for this eight point. And, that might have been yeah, him. May, may have been him. Looked like he was turned in on that one side. Didn't get the greatest look, but anyway, uh, we're going we're gonna to come out and go see if we can find him. See if you can find this blood. Where was he standing? He poked out by the bush. Huh? He poked out by the bush. He was over there, back there somewhere. In this area. Try to find some blood. Huh? Try to find some blood. Standing right here, though. In front of a bush. I don't know how far back. Well, go where you think he went. He ran this way. You said he was by a bush. He poked out right in front of a bush. It can't be this far. It has to be over there. We'll go back over there again. Let's see if we can pick up a blood trail. You were so excited, you're probably having a hard time remembering where he was standing. He stepped out right in front of the bush. His whole body was out. Well, I know you had the gun turned at a pretty good angle out that window. Was he further away, maybe? Back I already zoomed out. I had it zoomed in. Zoomed out whenever you were the You look like you might have. I know you are. Okay, I'll we'll take off to where you think he went. Maybe we'll pick something up. I don't think he went this far. I think he was closer up. Ran into the What do you need to be looking for to spot him? Huh? What do you need to be looking for to spot him? Blood. Okay, but if you're not finding blood, what does a deer look like? Tannish. Tannish. Uh, what's what else? What other color do they have? Brownish on their winter coat. Okay. So what does the ground look like right now? Brown. Okay. So what do you think you need to look for? What color? Green. 
green. What would stand out against brown? Think of a deer's color. White fur. We'll be I'll start looking for white. Now don't worry about right here. We're not seeing any blood right here, so just go the direction he went, but start looking for white. Yes. <laughs> I knew it when we got out of the blind, I saw him. I told you I hit him. I don't, I don't know where any of the blood is though. But yeah, I saw him when I we like climbed. Right I saw him when we climbed out. I didn't do is that the seven point? Or I think it was an eight. Cool. Well, hold his head up. I shot low for time. Yeah, but well you jerked that trigger pretty hard. Chicken? No, he's dead. I mean, if, if it make you feel better, kick him. I'm sure he'll just get up. No, he's dead. Look at his eyes. I verify he's dead. I don't want that sound to happen again. That scared me. I don't have my phone to take a picture. We'll do it in a second. Hold this head up though. Is that air gap gonna happen? No, just pick it up. And if it does, it don't matter. It's part of killing a deer. Look at that. Oh yeah, it is curved in. Yeah. I, that, I don't think that's white tip. This is a nice deer though. But see how he's curled in that white tip buck you've been looking for or something like that. All right, so tell me about it. So at last minute, we're even really expecting it. We we're watching this seven point the feeder and this big deer came in and this one snuck around behind us and we look out the side window and he's just standing over there so we open it. We try to stop him. He stopped but I didn't I wasn't ready to shoot. So we started walking again and we got him to stop again. It was like right at the edge of the window where I could barely see. Got him a stop, he was right about to move. Could I help it? I jerked the trigger. Yeah, you were excited. And what? Not too far. Uh-uh. Never saw any blood. There's blood right here. Yeah. So that's it. Alright. Well, it's gonna get warm fast. We need to go get the ranger. Okay. So leave him here, let's go get the ranger. First deer on this lease. Best deer you've shot yet. It's really nice. All right. Well, Luke, just want to tell you how proud I am of you, little man. Uh, you showed some maturity as a hunter this weekend. Uh, put you out by yourself, kind of, with your mom. So you were in a situation where you had to judge deer and age deer on your own. You made a wise choice yesterday not to shoot this big eight point because it was just more of that trophy class deer. You were supposed to go after management eight point. That's what you ended up doing today. Uh, you stuck with it. You didn't get discouraged when you saw these big deer that you couldn't shoot this morning. And uh, you waited, was patient, and had one come in. Yeah, go over there. So. Anyway, I want to tell you how proud you were. You're becoming quite the young man, quite the young hunter. So, there he goes right there. So, anyway, love you, son. Let's go take care of your deer.